Hello. Yeah, my name is Hacker Brown, and we are about to go to the cutting part. So I want to make um, a little explanation of some brief things I will be using. First of all, I will be taking from shoulder here, here, to under my boss like this. So you have to measure your client. Mine is 13. Now I want to, I will be also making some sand like top of boss. From shoulder here to top of my boss, I need 6 inch. Can you see it? I need 6 inch for top of my boss. Now from this top boss here to my under boss, like this. So, and then, sorry, like this. You have to try and gauge where your nipple point is. Mine is four for my nipple. So this is how to measure. And then from there, you take your waist round like this. Mine is 29. And your hip part just like that. So the reason why I decided to show you this hop at to measure is because it's very important. I'll be working with it shoulder to under bust, top bust to nipple point, nipple point to under my bust. So that is that. So let's go back to the cutting part. Remember this from Frank Brown Stay tuned. Alright, we finished cutting. So I'm just gonna open it. Let's see how it looks like. So this is it. Please, this is different from princess cut padded. This is normal visa cut. So I'm gonna cut another one of this one. I'm just gonna place to cut another one of this one for my lining. So you're going to cut all this into another pieces to give you your lining. But before then, we'll cut on our lace design. So you just place it and cut according to your shape like this so that will be all for the front cutting please whatever you don't understand let me know remember this video is for Parker brown watch me on youtube join me on facebook subscribe to my channel and i'll be giving awards for end of year for those who subscribe more on my channel on youtube you can get a lot of videos that to make jeans trousers whatever whatever stay tuned bye See, I want to shape in my side. I want to take my ample. I'll be taking two inches down because it's a tube gun. Then from this very point here, I'm just going to make a slant. You can use your ruler in case if you're not good with hand slanting. Just like this. Now from here to here, remember we have our waistline here. So from this waist here, I'm going to place my measurements. I need 12 here so this is my waistline I'm not gonna remove anything from this my boss please see after I finish sewing so I'm gonna connect both lines together then for my hip I'm gonna leave my hip for about 13 inches and I'll mark here please this is wider than the measurement tool but every other adjustment will come while sewing so this is to the hip now i want to pencil this down part i'm going to remove two inch from here because i want it to be very pencil because i'm making a fishing gun so it's going to come in like this so i'm just going to use my hand to make this hip part a little bit curved and then here it goes uh -huh. So let's just cut it and see how it looks like. Now the reason I took away this part is because it's not um, shoulder. We'll be cutting our shoulder separately because I, I want to be able to wear this gown without sleeve. So we can be rocking it with sleeve or without sleeve. That's why I removed this part. Now I'm going to get my dark line. My dark line here is 4 inch. That is 8 divided by 2, 4. So I'm going to mark 4, 4, 4, 4, 4 all down. 
till I get to the damp part. So I'm just going to roll it all across. So just do yours with the back. So now this is my dark line. So now this is my dark line. Now how I got this dark line is just from here. The space between these two nipples and here for your client, that is your dark line. Mine is seven. Then I had extra one inch to give me it. That's why you saw I marked four, 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 four down here. Now let's go over to business. Now from this top boss here, I don't know if our camera can catch it. From this top boss here, I'm going to remove one inch in. From here to here, I'm going to take one inch in from this top boss. Now, this under boss, I'm also going to remove one inch. This nipple point, I will not remove anything. This nipple point, I'm not going to remove anything. Please, I folded my fabric into two. Sorry. It's just into two, and I added extra five inches to my seam allowance. So, let's continue. Now, I took one inch here. I took one inch here. From this nipple point, all I'm just going to do is curve with my hand to my nipple point. Then from my nipple point, I curve here also. So it's going to be like this. Now, this is down, down. So I'm going to take my length. I need my length from shoulder to where I want it to be. I need 33, but I'm going to mark 34. Let me see. I'm marking 34 for my length. So I'm just going to roll it across. Now this is from shoulder to where my length is. So this is for my length. From here to here, and I'm taking 34. So I'm going to take from this very length now, from shoulder to under boss. My, I'm working with 13. So I'm going to mark 13 here. I'm also going to mark 13 here also. Please, this is from shoulder to under boss. So I'm also going to do it across too. Now from shoulder here, to top of my boss, I want to take away six inch from it. So I'm going to mark six inch to top of my boss. So just do yours to be back. Is it good? Okay. Now from here to here, we took six inch, which is top of our boss. And from here to here is under our boss. Now I want to try and get my nipple point. This very person I'm working for, our nipple point is four inch. So I'm gonna mark four inch to get my nipple point. So I'm just gonna roll it across also, just like the other way. So just do yours with your back. So now I'm gonna label this one now, nipple point which is MP. Please, I'm going to write brief um, notes on this abbreviation. This TB is top boss, and NP is nipple point, and UB is under boss. Now, from this top boss here, I'm going to try and get my waistline. Since I'm working for gown, my waistline here, I'm going to use 9 inch. So, from this top boss to where my waistline is going to come i'm going to use nine inch so i'm also going to rule it so from waist to where i'm going to place my hip it's going to give me 10. so i'm marking 10 also then i'm ruling it i'm going to explain this over again so now this is my hip line this is my hip line this is my waistline this is my waist this is my under boss now what i did is from shoulder to here is six and from here to here is my nipple point which is four inch 
from here to here is my under bust and from here to here is my waist from here to here is my hip and here is the pencil tab now this very up here i don't need this part i don't need here so i'm just gonna rule here away i don't need here because i want to cut it as a tube so i don't need my shoulder parts on this i'm working from top here so just do yours to the back 